Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. You know, Disney has just been dropping the bomb on us lately when it comes to trailers for these shows. But I'm here for it. Today we are going to be reacting to not Tales of the Jedi, but Tales of the Empire. Definitely a surprise to be sure, but a welcoming one. Let's not waste any more time and just dive right into it. Here we go. Three, two, one, and punch it. Why do you seek Imperial favor? Oh, Thrawn? Let's go. Years ago, my people were all but destroyed. My anger gives me strength. It is that strength I offer the Empire. Offer accepted. May 4th. I'm here to present you with an opportunity, Eris. Oh, Eris? Just be glad you're not a Jedi anymore. Your path is set, Morgan Elspeth. I will fulfill my destiny. Oh, snap! Mercy only breeds defeat. Stop, is that the Fortress Inquisitor? And I will help you overcome this weakness. Attack! You said the Empire would help to change things. Everything comes at a cost. Oh. Dang, oh my gosh. My world has been burning. Since I was a child, you cannot stop what has begun. Oh my god! Now, you must face one final That's test. the fortress, I'm telling you. To join us. It is time you meet your new master. Oh my gosh, I have goosebumps. Long live the Empire! Oh my god! <laughs> I can't hold it back. Oh my gosh, my brain is just exploding with so much fangirling right now. I am very, very, very excited for just all of it, really. <laughs> but especially the Inquisitor story, because I'm sorry. I know I'm going to pull the picture up. I know that training room they were in, that, that has to be the Fortress Inquisitorious, because that's where all of the Inquisitors go to train and get their position from vader basically and being a fallen order nut i spot easter eggs like that almost instantly guys i'm telling y'all cal kestis is gonna have his own show one day i don't care what anyone says it's gonna happen and i'm gonna prove you all wrong okay sorry calming down now but thrawn wow was not expecting to see more of that especially barris because we have not really seen her since the end of clone wars well Season 5, I believe, of the Clone Wars. We don't really know what happened to her in the aftermath. Don't get me wrong, as much as I love the Jedi and their story, and I'm always for, like, different perspectives on the light side and the clones, even Mandalorians, I think this is um, a show we have been waiting for for a while. It's... We haven't seen the perspective of the Empire and kind of how they trained and rose to power essentially behind the scenes. It's going to be interesting to see the perspective of the Night Sisters just kind of falling and the Inquisitors, how they came to be under Vader. I'm just like, these are questions I've had for a while going into these stories and although we've touched lightly in it through some comics, books, and the video games, it's nice that we're going to see a perspective on the screen for the first time. This was the news I needed, guys. I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry. My, again, I'm all over the place. Um, I'm gonna watch it a couple more times to theorize and kind of see the characters. Definitely put a comment in the comment section below. Tell me your thoughts. What did you find that I didn't see that I haven't discussed yet in this video? Just point it out to me. I want to talk to you guys about it. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, my Padawan learners. And as always. May the Force 
be with you. 